Hey, it's Ryan here with Parts Doctor, and today we're gonna to show you how to replace the defrost sensor on your Samsung refrigerator. For this job, you're gonna need three tools. You're gonna to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and either a scissors or side cutters. Let's get started. For this repair, we'll need to unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is remove the four door bins on the lower part of the left door and the lower part of the right door. Next, we'll need to remove the two vegetable drawers. To remove the vegetable drawer cover, you'll need to simultaneously press the two clips on the left and right sides. This will release it from the filter case assembly, which will allow you to lift it out and remove it. Next, we'll need to remove the shelves inside the refrigerator. The quick space shelf on the side of the ice maker can stay in place. To remove the shelves, you'll need to grab the front of the shelf and lift up. With your other hand, you'll need to grab the rear of the shelf and lift it up and forward towards you to remove it. Next, we'll remove the screw cover and then we'll remove the four Phillips screws. To remove the screw cover, we'll use a small flathead screwdriver and then you can pry out the plastic cover to remove it. First, we'll need to remove the two Phillips screws that hold the center shelf support. Next, remove the two bottom Phillips screws. Now we can remove the evaporator cover by pulling on the bottom and then along the edges to remove the locking clips. With the evaporator cover released, it is still connected in the upper left hand corner of the fridge. You want to pivot it by pulling out on the right edge of the evaporator cover and leaving the left side in place. Once you gain access to the wire plugs, you can remove them by depressing the locking tabs. To remove the defrost sensor, we'll need to first remove the electrical plug. There's two tabs that you'll need to depress to remove that. Once those are removed, you can cut the zip tie and then you can remove the retaining clip from the evaporator coil. If you have a bad defrost sensor and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you search with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you're getting the correct defrost sensor for your model refrigerator. To reinstall the new defrost sensor, we'll first need to put the electrical plug back into the harness on the refrigerator. Now you can zip tie the defrost sensor harness to the defrost heater harness. Next, reinstall the new defrost sensor into the sensor retaining clip, and then clip the sensor onto the evaporator coil. Now plug the wiring harness back into the wall on the refrigerator. To reinstall the evaporator cover, you'll need to start by reinstalling the two wire plugs into the refrigerator. Next, we'll need to turn the panel and then push the top into place, and then we'll push the sides and bottom to lock them into place. Next, we'll reinstall the two outer Phillips screws. Next, we'll reinstall the center shelf support, and then we'll reinstall the upper screw cover. Next, we're gonna reinstall the shelves in the refrigerator. You're gonna start by putting the back tab at an angle in the fridge, and then you'll lower it until the bottom tab locks into place. To reinstall the vegetable drawer cover, you'll set it on the side rails, and then you'll push it until it's flush with the back wall. Once it's flush with the back wall, you'll lift up on the filter case to lock the two pieces together. Now reinstall the vegetable drawers and the door bins. So that's how you replace the defrost sensor on your Samsung refrigerator. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.